Good morning, survivors, and welcome back to the long dark. We are picking up just about where we left off here inside of the hunting lodge in the broken railroad region where we had come out to fetch the broken beer spear, the legendary beer spear that was forged to kill the mighty demon beer. And apparently that didn't work out so well for the original forger of the spear. And now it's up to us to reforge it, <laughs> fix it up, sharpen it, etc., etc., and then go stab the big hungry bear and move on with our lives. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. It is bright and early in the morning, although not too bright today. But let's go ahead and get, um, let's get a fire started here. I want to cook up some uh i want to cook up some tea and oh i need a book get this thing going yeah we want to get warmed up before we head out i did drop a whole bunch of stuff this here pack is getting kind of heavy no it's not so bad will stop your belly aching and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing cranked up right now 95 percent chance let's not use the accelerant we have a ton of it i probably should use it but i figure 95 percent chance is pretty good and I'd rather have that accelerant for the time when we're really going to need it. So far, that time has not shown itself. <laughs> but one of these days, we're going to get stuck out there. That's I guarantee done. it. That's done. Good job. Add another book. And let's go ahead and... I think I have some tea. I had to drop a whole bunch of stuff here. We had, like, almost 100 pounds of gear. Now we're right on the cusp. Let's get that... Here it is right here. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Don't drink it. I want to warm it up want to warm it up and i think if we how do we do this cook yeah right there select yeah we can put it right by the fire how are we going to pick that up that's going to be real hot ceramic cup <laughs> right out of the flames i'll let will worry about that i'm not too concerned anywho so yeah i had to drop a whole bunch of stuff behind i'm gonna leave a bunch of stuff behind i did actually put on these lovely gloves these things are amazing these gauntlets super warm super air wind proofness and highly waterproof but they're just heavy like two pounds heavier than the fleece mittens we had before but you know what they're just gonna have to do nice and hot drink it will mm -mm -mm. let's get hydrated and warmed up before we head out and then we'll uh what do we got here to eat how about some moldy beef jerky good for the soul and we're gonna have to drink up these sodas. Oh, that soda did not give us much hydration, did it? That was weird. Must have been stale or something. There we go. And let's uh, let's pop a little water. We'll top up, top up the whole way before we head out. There we go. Ah, <sighs> okay. By the way, it's early Monday morning. I'm not sure how much time I have today. I have a funeral to go to. I'm trying to crank this episode out before I head out. It's uh, real early in the morning. I haven't had my coffee yet, so I'm not firing on all cylinders. Hope hopefully I don't make a complete fool of myself <laughs> today because I can't think. Um, but uh, I'm going to try to get this done if we can. And it might be a short episode, but we need to go down here. That's the goal is to get to the, the forge and then fix up that spear. We can stop on the way and get this supply cache. Oop, there goes the fire. I think it's going out. Yeah, so that supply cache isn't too far, and yeah, we'll do that on the way, and then uh, we'll probably have to call it quits there, because I may not have enough time to continue on all the way back to Jerry's. Oh, there's my old wool mittens. We don't need them. So, yeah, we're nice and light. Barely. <laughs> but it's going to have to do. So, I think we are ready to rock and roll. So, let's do it. We'll get that gun out before we head outside. It's a fine morning, but cold. But that tea is going to help. Keep us warm, at least for a little while anyway, and stave off the cold. So before we head out, I was told in the comments that there was a note around here somewhere. I mean, let's just have a look around anywhere. There might be something useful. Will's really moving quickly right now. So light. What is that? Nothing. Um, let's check the front. Yeah, apparently there's a note near the stairs oh yeah right there there we go okay thanks for the tip oh handwritten note a neatly written note suggesting the location of some supplies okay take it quick because <laughs> i think we've been spotted or maybe not all right so that is near the cache near the old hunting lodge and broken railroad oh oh it's here 
Oh my gosh, is that the same one? Uh, let's go for it. I mean, not that we need anything. And we probably don't want to waste too much time around here, but it might have something useful. There's nothing here. Uh, candy bar. Yeah, like I said, we're, we're so close to the uh, maximum capacity that I don't want to wait Will down too much. And I don't want to hear him grumbling about it. Always belly aching about how heavy everything is. Might as well check this truck while we're here. And the glove box. Man, we have uh, 54 rounds of ammunition. <laughs> we could take on a whole army of wolves, couldn't we? I will not hesitate to shoot any more. I don't remember having this many bullets as ever before. Oh, well, well, well. Look who it is. Already starting. I was checking. He's chasing a bunny. Oh, maybe he's not chasing a bunny. Maybe I should go get that rabbit meat. And then use it as a decoy. He's trying to he's trying to trick us by climbing rocks and stuff. Can I get up on the top of this thing? No. Yeah, see, this guy wants to hunt. He likes to hunt. I appreciate that. I appreciate the hunt, too. Unless he's herding me into another friend over here. It could, could very well be what's happening to me here. No. All right. Where's that cash now? <laughs> Maybe that cash isn't worth it after all, because it is getting cold. Oh, boy. That cash. Oh, we're getting close. It's actually up here. Oh, it's on the way out. Oh, he's, uh, he's still on our tail. I have a feeling we're going to have to shoot this guy. I don't want to. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere. There's another one up here. Oh my gosh, yes, there is another one. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I missed, but he ran anyway. Maybe I did hit him. I don't think so. It seemed like I was way off to the right. Panicked. Oh, look at this. I can climb up this tree. Man, they are out in force. I should not have mentioned anything about the number of bullets I had. And that we could take on an army, because I think the army is here. I expect that wolf we just shot at is going to return. Hey! <laughs> I seem to be standing right on top of this cache. <laughs> there it is! And a warming up benefit is gone. That's not great. I can't Aha, find the spot. Here it is. Right, you found the spot. Whoa! Decent mukluks! Those are amazing! And a book to burn. Um, I don't think we're going to need it. And a note. Aurora hatch door entry code. <gasps> Ooh. Wait a minute. Aurora. Oh, that's the entry code. Drop something. What's the entry code? I'm not really sure. Anyway, let's check out these boots. Holy cow, they look amazing. Oh, they're pretty heavy. 3.3 pounds. And... Oh. They're not quite as effective as our mountaineering boots, but maybe that's because they're not in top-notch shape. Could very well be it. I'm just waiting for that wolf to come back so I can shoot him for real this time. <laughs> I can't believe I missed. Oh, I told you. Dude, I won't miss twice. I will not miss twice. I'm warning you. He is literally right beneath me. Oh, I'm going to shoot you in the butt. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I, I missed him again. Shot the stump. All right, well, this is the luckiest wolf in Canada right now. <laughs> Let's go. Let's get out of here. That wasn't my fault, that one right there. That looked like it should have hit him, but it was some kind of invisible barrier. First one's on me, but not that second one. All right, let's get out of here. We can run it out, get behind the fence. Leave these wolves behind. Oh, yeah, we are heavy, though, huh? Um, well, let's just keep moving. We can't do anything about it right now. Once we get to the forge, we can drop some things and maybe fix up those mukluks and see how they compare to the mountaineering boots. Ugh! What a dreary day today. So gray and overcast. No sunshine. Kind of reminds me of home. <laughs> this is like New England. A lot of my winter looks like this. All right, out we go. Or in we go, depending. <laughs> yeah, we'll leave that wolf pack behind, thankfully. And probably right into the arms of another waiting wolf pack. Or paws, I should say. 
Yeah, this is a hunting grounds here, so... It could be wolves about. No trolls under the bridge. I'd like to see a troll in this game. I know it's a little fantastical, but that would be pretty fun. Pretty fun indeed. I feel like I could take on anything with all these bullets as I have in this rifle. And soon the spear. I hope we can use the spear to fight these critters and not just the bear. You better run, buddy. Although I have no quarrel with you. But you don't want to stick around near me. I don't see any wolves, but I hear them. So the question then is, should we cut in here? Go along the river. I'm kind of curious about the river. I just don't want to get stuck somewhere where I can't get up out of. Although, wait a minute, there's a corpse over here. Could be a human corpse worth checking. Oh, oh. watch out, pal! Oh, we got him. Never saw him coming. Never even saw him coming. Snuck right up behind. Better him than me. Survival of the fittestest. And the one with the gun. Although I better shoot a little straighter than before. <laughs> if I intend to survive. I hear something loud over here. Like maybe a waterfall? Or is that wind? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, there's the corpse. It is a deer. Nothing chewing on it. That sounds like a waterfall to me. So this is what I was worried about. Some kind of natural barrier. That would prevent us from getting up there. Well, it's not a fresh kill. How long would it take to get your guts, dude? Let's take the guts. It's only 15 minutes. We better get a new knife soon. This one's getting duller, and you can't sharpen this metal shard. Well, it didn't really get very much duller, but still. I think we're going to get a knife from Jerry like very I survived soon. Another night. You sure did. But, buddy, I wouldn't count your, uh, count your cookies. Uh, wait, what's the saying? <laughs> Don't count your eggs before they hatch. Don't count your cookies. Uh, told you it's early Monday morning. And I cannot think straight. I can't shoot straight either. But that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. That, we not, why are we going that way? We're past the cache. The cache. Will's moving a little slower now. Uh-oh. I see flakes, snowflakes. Oh. No snow coming. So yeah, I'm recording this on what is today? February 10th, 11th? Oh, it's right here. Um and we uh, our weather right now in New England has actually been really nice. I shouldn't complain. It's in like the forties and fifties a couple of days. We've had no snow. What oh there it is. We've had one one snowfall, and it was before Thanksgiving. Which is weird, and that was the only one, and it came and it went pretty I've quick. I've been looking for you. Yes, we have. Wooden matches. Are you serious? I don't need that. I will take the accelerant. We'll take the fire log. Because we're going to need... Um, okay. No, no. Not great. But we need the fire wood to get a fire started over here. There's probably plenty of firewood here already, but might as well bring it. I know there was a lot of coal at this place. We're going to have to get that forge up to 270 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to be super hot, and the coal is going to allow us to do that. But we'll need the wood to get that started first, right? Oh my gosh, these wolves seem like they're closing in. Not behind us. I don't know. But this is just in time. Snow coming down. Still pretty cold out here, but we'll get that fire cranked up. We'll be, uh, we'll be good to go. That door's locked. I don't really want to pry it open. Use my pry bar. I hear something. Sounds like a growl. Did we check all these cars here? I don't think so. Hey, wrong door. <laughs> All right, we're back. Let's snatch up that book. All right, let's go. Let's get this done. Spear, 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 spear. Da -da 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 -da. Let's make spear, and we'll stab a bear. And we'll be back 
On top of the food chain, baby. There will be nothing left in Great Bear <laughs> that can challenge us for that top spot. Well, except maybe a different bear. But uh, well, let's not talk about that. Let's drop our guts. Where's our guts at? Gutsy. There we are. One gut and two guts. And I think that's all we're going to drop right now. Let's get that fire started like right now. And then we can mess around with our guts and some other things here. Yeah, so this has the top part where we do the forging. We got to get this thing up to 270 degrees F Fahrenheit. And I'm not even going to mess around. Let's use some of that accelerant. We got tons of it, Will. So let's do it. No messing around here. That should do it. Right. Yeah, good job. Use a forge to craft. Whoa. What the heck's going on here? Will just passed out. <laughs> oh, he's let's back. Let's do this. You ready? <laughs> that was weird. Oh, it's 306 degrees Fahrenheit, just like that. How? Wait a minute. There must have been fuel in there already. Okay, cool. So what's all the coal for, then? I guess that's just in case we want to bring some home with us. And we got all this wood here, too. All right, well, let's drop these fire logs. They're super heavy. Don't we need to carry them around. Um, and this is going to burn forever, right? It's got the uh, infinity symbol there, so I'm assuming... We don't have to put any fuel in there. Fantastic. All right. Well, let's uh, let's do the thing with the spearhead. The business end of a of a beer spear, rough hammered, but effective. That does remain to be seen. Crafted from scrap metal, and we need a tool. We need the heavy hammer, which is right here on the shelf. Two scrap metal, and an X number of hours. We don't know what X is until, I guess. Thank goodness. Thank goodness that was there. Until we start whacking things here. All right, let's grab two metal. And start whacking, Will. The spearhead, that is. Let's do it. Begin crafting. An hour and a half. Holy smokes. Wait a minute. Before you start whacking things, let's, um, let's eat. Moldy granola bar. Mm-mm-mm. A little special topping on that. Fantastic. Want to keep that well-fed benefit going here. So, another 300 calories. Beautiful. Just a sliver left there. And we don't have anything to drink other than this fine Canadian lemonade. Let's do it. I think we got a bunch over here too anyway, right? Yeah. If we need it. If we need it. Okay. So now we can do an hour and a half. We've got plenty of time. Let's go. Do it, Will. That's not whacking. That doesn't sound like whacking. <laughs> I guess I can add blacksmith to my growing list of skills. Ooh. Nice work. Look at the edge on that thing. Touch it. Let's hope touch we it. don't have to put this spear to the test. You don't want to touch it. All right. Yeah, we're going to put it to the test, all right. Let's get it out here and have a look. Can we actually carry it? Oh, we can. <gasps> oh, aim. And hiya. What the? No. Oh, I want to I want to stab like a Spartan. Okay, we just brace it. I knew it. I told you guys. Although, we do have to time it right. Look over on the right-hand side. It uses stamina. Um, and we're super heavy right now. What can we drop? And oh, we got these booties over here. Yeah, let's, um, well, let's just take one more quick look. We don't have to do it right now. Yeah, so you brace it down while the bear charges is how we, and then he's going to kill himself. So we're not even going to get credit for it. <laughs> All right, put it down. Let's see what else we can do here. Some other stuff opened up. An improvised knife and an improvised hatchet. Really cool. And we can make a new spearhead. I guess. Is that, wait, Macon? No. I suppose that's just to fix ours up if we need to. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it is a whole new one. These are nice, I think. I don't know. But three hours, really? To make an, a knife and an improvised hatchet. Well, we have a knife. It's only a piece of metal. But it's still sharp. We can't sharpen it anymore. But we don't have three hours to blow making another crappy knife, essentially. So, yeah, let's, um, we never finished looting this office. I did remember that. So let's go ahead and do that right now while we have still, still have some time here. Yeah, these are all going to be empty, guaranteed. I think I can use this. No, well. Uh, yeah, we'll grab that. I do want to try fixing up those, um, awesome boots that we just found and see how they compare to the trail boots. We don't need any more matches. Got plenty of matches. Uh, oh, stale crunchy bar. Uh, does not have the special mold sauce on it. That's sad. Although my throat does feel like a little... It's kind of itchy and, and tightening up a little. 
Other than that, the mold is fine. Got some lockers here that need to be forced to open with a pry bar. Easy, easy. Empty, really? All that work. Is it food or? It's food, all right. It's in the bag, it can't be too bad. And what we got here? Oh, good. More accelerant and cloth. Fantastic. Yeah, my guess is we're going to need leather for those boots. I could be wrong, but I think we have one pair of leather anyway. Oh, more tea? We don't need it, but I will take the sardines. And we got a freezer here. Empty freezer. Huh. I think we're done here, right? Did we miss anything else? I don't know. I think we're okay. So, yeah, look at all the stuff down here. Got lots of food. We got some water. Sewing kits. Yeah, let's try to fix... Oh. Oh. So the, this is going out now. What's going on? Why is it going out now? It looked like it was going to burn forever, but something changed. Maybe after I had fixed up the spear. I didn't happen to notice the time, but yeah. So we do have to keep this, this going. Um, we'll throw a couple of pieces of wood on here. I guess we don't really need to... But why not? While we're here, you never know. We might want to cook something up. And it's just so cozy. Let's go ahead and try to repair these shoes right here. And this is going to take... Oh, it does take uh, one cloth and one cured leather, in fact. An hour and 16 minutes. Is that going to be worth it? Let's just go ahead and do the boots. Repair them. 95% chance, Will. You can't screw it up. That's pretty good odds. Those are good odds, buddy. There we go. We did it. And how do they compare? Let's check them out on the feetsies. Oh, yes. They're better. They're really heavy, though. But they have a little bit more insulation and a little bit better wind resistance. But really, for a pound, I don't know. They are cool looking, though. Let's put them on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They are super awesome. Super awesome. <laughs> it's the best way to describe those boots. I couldn't think of anything better. So let's just um, let's keep them on for now, I guess. Let's add some coal in here. That cranked up. And now, what time is it? Yeah, we got to go back to Jeremiah now and bring the spear and then take care of the beer. The beer. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get organized now. i got a bunch of stuff that we don't need to carry out of here. We're a little heavy. It's going to take a few moments, and then we'll uh, we'll be on our way. We don't need that sewing kit anymore. We don't need the metal. All right, guys. Change of plans. I think we're going to have to spend the night here because we have a long way to go, and there's really nowhere to stop for the night along the way. Maybe the locomotive engine... Actually, that got pushed off the cliff by the bear, right? So I don't know what condition that thing's in, but there's no structure here. And when we get to the uh, the forlorn musk keg, we still have a really long trek. Um, where is the... Yeah, there's a train that we can hop into and spend a night, but it's like way the heck over here. Oh, there it is right there, poacher camp. So that's probably the nearest place to stop for the night, and I don't think we're going to make it. I think it's too late. Therefore, we're going to stay here one night, and then we'll leave in the morning. So, let's just throw a little fuel on here. I think we might have to have this thing run all night. I'm not sure exactly how cold it gets in here. I mean, there's holes in the ceiling, but I still think it's warm enough in here where we can sleep and not have the fire going. But we do have that forge, and that will uh, I'll, I'll run it all night if we have to, to keep Will warm and alive. But for now, let's leave the shed. And let's go out and check the cars out here. Curious to see what they look like. See if there's any goodies inside. And then uh, and then we'll probably call it quits for this episode. And we'll leave in the morning and head back to Jerry's. And uh, show him our new spear. But first, let's go out and check those cars. Feel pretty light, even though we're not. Oh, the sun is now shining. It's a pretty nice day, actually. It's not even that cold. Man, I feel like going for it. <laughs> I do. But there's there's just too much stuff. Too much stuff in that shed. I want to... I definitely want to go through my pack. Thank goodness. You know, we need to bring all the deer. 
uh, the wolf pelts and the guts. Got to go back for all that stuff, and it's gonna be we're gonna be really heavy. All right, soda's not too bad. Let's open that up. Check this truck over here. Let's see what's inside. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Oh well, would you stop that? Got plenty, plenty of space left there. 500 calories in that little bar. Not too shabby. Nothing in the bed. All right, open that up. Is Methuselah still up there? I wonder. I don't see any smoke or anything. No, I think he left. And the final truck. No soda in this one, huh? Excellent. Ah! <laughs> yes, they had a soda. They put it inside the glove box. I'm going to take those gloves and maybe break them down for the leather. See if there's any more repairing we can do. Oh, there's a metal box out here. And I'll bring the wood in, too. I don't know if we're ever going to come back here to do any forging. I think there's another forge in uh, on the map somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. But this is kind of a long way to go to the forge to make a makeshift knife. You know what I mean? We don't need a makeshift knife. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to get a good knife from Jerry when we go back to him at some point. At least that's um, that's what I remember from the old Wintermute. Where he rewards us with a, a real nice hunting knife. And then we can finally get rid of this sharp scrap of metal. <laughs> I mean, it has served us well, but it's starting to get dull. And I feel kind of foolish carrying that thing around. Oh, that's from the Carter Hydro Dam. I imagine this company did a lot of work for the Carter Hydro Dam. Before everything went to heck. Thought I heard a wolf or something. It could be a cache or something out here worth looking for, but just trying to kill some time. We can't go back today. It's just too late. It's a long way back. And I don't want to travel at, in night, at the night, in the night. It's it colder at night. Plus, you can't see the wolvesies very good. But we'll uh, we'll travel back in the next episode and go catch up to our buddy, old Jerry. And then we'll move on. <gasps> Somebody's been here. Dun dun dun. Hmm. Who could it be? All right, I'm gonna head back inside. Unfortunately, there's no bed inside the maintenance yard shed. Except for this one right here, but this could be cold here. There's no stove over here. So, oh, actually, there's a stove here, but it's probably too far away. A fire log there. It's probably too far away from that bed to provide any heat. If we're sleeping on it. So, all right, let's get back inside. Call it a day. And that ought to do it. We did check this whole place, right? Fairly certain. Fairly certain. But just in case, I'm going to do one more quick look about. There's a fire barrel we can use. We don't need it with the furnace going. We did check all this stuff here, right? In fact, I better go check that forge. Is it still burning? Yep, looks like it. Throw some more wood on here. We'll burn this stuff through the night. Six hours right there. Uh, we'll throw one more coal on. Seven and a half hours. It's not really very much. <laughs> That's not going to be enough because it's still pretty early. We've got to kill some time here. I guess we can do like repair work. Does anything even need to be repaired? Let's check our tools. Can we repair? Yeah, we can repair this now with the scrap metal. It takes 45 minutes to repair a can opener. I don't think that's worth it. <laughs> Let's sharpen our axe. Take a few minutes. Just gotta kill time is all. It's up to 97. We can get it up to 100. 
Yeah, this is nice. Sitting by the fire here. I did repair the rifle, by the way, earlier. So that's all set. Can we repair the flashlight? Yes, we can. 30 minutes with a little scrap metal. It's an 80% chance of success. So apparently, Will here is not a flashlight doctor, but we're gonna, we're gonna try this anyway. 80% is a pretty good chance. Using up them tools, there we go. Up to 72, that was good. That was really good, actually. Let me grab some more metal and try that again. A bunch here in the tub. So, yeah, I think we're just going to spend the night here. I think that'll give our wolf pelts a little more time to cure as well. And then we'll, um... Yeah, then we'll boogie in the morning. And we'll head back to Jeremiah's. And continue on with our quest here. So, with that, my friends, we're going to call it quits. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Bye-bye.